Yeah. Yeah, we can trade in bullets. Yeah, we can trade in bullets. Uh. Okay. Well, well you know, it was a pleasure to meet you. You too, pal. You too. Oh, look, it's um, Scrappy oh, and... I can't remember this. Hi. Hello. Hey. Wait, Marshall? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So. We're not on duty anymore, though, so we don't have any weapons. Uh, okay, what? I wasn't, like, scared of weapons until you said it that way. No, I I'm, I'm going home. Okay. Good to see you. <clears throat> well, what a heckin' day, dude. What a heckin' day. Oh, Martha's actually calling me back. Martha, hello. Hello, sorry, I was I was on my bike. No, I'm so I I would have I saw your text earlier and I've been trying to call you, but I've been quite busy in uh meetings and stuff, but um I also saw your email as well, uh, but listen, um, with everything that's happened, uh, and I saw you about wanting to go on LOA, I completely understand. Um, yeah. I actually, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna cut all, I'm just gonna cut out all the bullshit, Martha. I'm just gonna cut it to you straight because I'm just gonna talk mm. to you as Richard to Martha right now. Yeah, um okay. i don't think i don't think you should stay i don't think you should stay um no i'm not i'm not gonna I'm, i i've just texted nadia and i've just said uh, what does it take for me to do some leave, leave of absence can you tell me how i go about it and i'm just sort of like uh, i've just spoken to one fire outside and had a chat with her um and i just said i just can't do it anymore i just feel like when i walk into work richard i just it's just a cloud um and even if they're not there i just feel like uh, no, I know. It's, like, it's and it's not the PD. It's not the police officers. They're absolute diamonds to me. If if I need yeah. anything, I can call them. It's not them. It's just that the department that I work in is the one that controls me and the one that that sends me emails like that out of the blue. When I just think I I don't even know what I don't even know what I was supposed to be doing. As far as I was concerned, I'm shift three and I and if it falls to you. And it, it's better that I'm that I'm trained on shift three because that's all the cops up that I'm gonna be training with, you know? I just I I just I don't know. I I um... No, it's uh it's a very frustrating mm -hmm. situation to be in. Um I don't feel like that's my place anymore i was just standing out on the front steps there just thinking i don't want to walk in i haven't been putting my name in the yellow pages i don't want to speak to anybody i don't want to and it's just i don't want to be this person this is an awful person for to be yeah and so i just don't want to be it you know i just um and when i saw you tonight and i see that you're not even doing this job anymore and i was just thought well what the hell because that that just that just blows everything out of the water for me and i'm just like stuck there and i feel like you know you were my sort of saving savior like most days when i know you wasn't there a lot but when you was there i just knew that you you were around and, and that you'd be back and now i just feel like so alone you know it's stupid because there's so many cops about but they're not they're out they're not they're not talking to me they're not no, with me they're, they're not there but they're not horrible people to me not a single one of them has been nasty it's not that <sighs> it's just that the, the dispatch department is just so small it's like a little fucking boiling pot do you know what i mean of, of just this is i was uh, i had a meeting with <sighs> with Jalen and nadia today and i was like you know what, what's happened with martha and this is mm. this um and Nettie had said she'd reach out to you about getting some training done. Um, yeah, she and, did uh, sort of towards the beginning. But then after that, she sort of didn't. But then I just thought, oh, well, she's not doing it that anymore. Because obviously Rich has taken over. And she's probably... Because if you remember, you weren't about yeah. when I got on boarded with her. You hadn't been around for weeks. And I just said, I don't know what's going on. And Jade Lynn was being weird and just denying all knowledge of me wanting to even do it. And then um, Nadia said, right, okay, now I know you want to do it. I'm going to onboard you. Let's do a couple of lessons. And she did. She was really good. She was patient, kind. No, I can't fault her. But it's just, you know, then you came back and I just thought, well, that's what I'm supposed to be doing because our session seemed right. 
you know they seemed like that's mm -hmm. the that's the shift that i'm in and you know you're a great teacher and you know me as well you know i just felt comfortable you know and um just i don't know richard i just don't feel it, there's just an underlying mm -hmm. weirdness and stress that, that i can't yeah um mm -hmm. listen i get it i completely get it um i tried to call you earlier um but i don't think you were around um because i right, wanted to okay, then. give you a heads up with obviously you, you can see i've i've made a decision yeah. um to to make a move um yeah that's because i've had my own issues with things um obviously with dispatch yeah. and, and things like that in a similar vein to you um you know i've had very similar feelings with you um about you know dispatch and shift three definitely feels like an island that just gets ignored a lot of the time yeah um and we're just kind of left to our own devices like for me it's very much with like command um like i've been ignored by high command um like i was supposed to like take over uh dispatch and i was asked to take over um and then ignored for two months um after yeah. that um and nothing's come of it and then i get put in the hospital um and pd like uh, I was getting chased down by a car full of criminals, and PD Wait, saw when that happen. That? When like was last that? last week, this is when I was. I uh, didn't uh, know about that. Yeah, I uh, I got chased down by. I, the last I had, I, well, I took a week to, to to kind of recoup my feelings, and I just thought when I come back, I'll feel better. But I I don't. Um, but um, I didn't know that, Richard. The last I knew that, the, you know, your your kid was in hospital. That that's we we hooked up, didn't we? Do you remember and. Yeah. I don't know anything since. No, pretty much. Uh, what happened? What happened? Yeah, like a, maybe a day or two after that. Um, yeah. I got chased down by, you know, McGregor. You know, the, yeah, the, those yeah. guys, they chased me down. Um, yeah. I called the police. One of them called me back and said, there's no units. We can't help you. You're just going to have to run. And so I kept driving. What? They said, come to Mirror Park. I came to Mirror Park, there was police there, they saw me getting rammed, um, one of them literally drove up next to the car for the criminals and then you turned and drove away and then I got rammed into the lake uh, behind the casino and then uh, then the car filled up with water and then I got put in hospital. Oh my god. Listen, that's not the... Uh, I mean... Uh, yeah, but so, they left you. They did they did so there's a multitude of reasons why i've stepped away from dispatch mm -hmm. and i i wanted to let you know yeah. um it's all been so quick i literally got out of hospital two days ago i found out yeah. about this marshall thing i got pretty much i didn't get pressured but i woke up i spoke to Pred, who's a marshal my husband was yeah. like you know this is a position for you i've always been anti-corruption this is a big anti-corruption yeah, yeah. thing and I was offered an interview there and then. I couldn't say no. And then I woke up this morning. I get a text message saying I've been accepted. I, 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 I called you near enough straight away, Martha, to try and, you know, give you a oh. heads up. I didn't I, know that. Sorry. I've been really down on you this evening when I no, see you just no, turn I, up I, like I, that. I get oh, it. So I get sorry. it. I really did, you know, because yeah. I, I didn't... I don't. Okay. But that being said, I've also... I spoke to Sherry today. This is what I've been trying yeah. to get to you. And I, I, I've i heard that you've put in some interest with the, the clerk's office, yeah. is that right? Yeah. I've put in as much a good word as I can. Oh, Richard, um, thank you. And I will I will continue to do so. I'm going to try and talk to the head clerk, Alex, as well. And I would thank really you. love if you could come over because if you could, you know, if I could pull you over and so you could be working in that office with me as well, that'd yeah, be bloody I've fantastic. Yeah, I've spoken to Leah and I've spoken to Sherry and like they've both been really positive about it because Kyle came to the police station and, and when he saw me, he said, go and apply. He said, because I want you to work there. And I said, oh, what doing? Because I had no clue about it. So when I went over there and also Leah then reached out for me as well because I know Leah. Yeah. Um, and I did, I sent, you know, I've been talking to them as well. And I spoke to Leah and I said, I really feel like just skipping town right now. I said, because I feel like I'm just don't no, be no more. Martha, no, that's, that, everybody bloody loves you. Uh, 
yeah, I know, but that doesn't help when you're feeling like that internally. Do you know what I mean? When you're feeling like you don't belong and, you know, and, and, and like, where do you fit in? Because it's just like, I feel like sometimes I'm just treading water, like treading in mud, you know, and I'm just not this kind of blockage you know and I just think to myself I should be stronger I should be able to say to you know Nadia and Jadelyn you know back off but I can't I'm not that sort of person I just I, I just keep my head down and, and it gets worse and worse and worse you know yeah because they they see from me that I will just be submissive and I will just do, get on and do it and they can just you know it's not to be honest it isn't Nadia anyway it is Jadelyn you know her manner her, her way of talking to me um just just so curt and i just think that's the sort of thing that you know you could walk spring walk in there with a spring in your step and immediately you just feel like shit just from her just standing there i don't know what it is that she does but um i i, I just feel that emanating from her you know that and i just think what is she about to say to me and and and, and it, it's just a, a kind of a just you know the interactions we've had before it's just so negative and I can't be around people like that. It's just when I want to go in and do a good job and be the face of the PD and say, you know, everyone's welcome. Come and do your report. You know, you're you're worth something to everyone. And then I just think I don't feel worth nothing myself. So how can I project that? You know. <sighs> Sorry, Richard. I'm just you know I'm it's literally right. at Legion Square just on my bike here. <laughs> just. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. It's uh, but I think Le I understand. Leah did talk to me. She she said on my wake for a little bit, and she said that she's going to try and talk to Sherry or whatever. So I don't know what's going on tonight, but um, yeah, I, that's I, where I am. I think uh, I think seriously, have a good think about coming over and uh, giving the. Oh, I the want quotes to. I to want go. to. I want to, but they've got to want me. This is the point. It's not just I can't just walk into any job. They they've got to. No, of no, course. They don't. Course. They don't really know me that well. I mean, Leah knows me, but Sherry doesn't, and you know, it's it's just. I mean, that's what Sherry asked me about you today. Me and Sherry had a really long talk about you, and you know, she asked oh. me a lot of questions, and I gave her really honest answers, and uh, yeah. so. I think she. I think it's, it's a definite interest. They're definitely interested in bringing you over. So uh, yeah. I feel like everyone's it... resigning as well. I mean, Tilly doesn't seem to be around. She used to talk to me like later on in the evening. She's. I haven't seen her for well weeks. I don't think I haven't. So uh, I just feel like everyone's leaving. Yeah, I don't you know. know? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with uh, with dispatch. It seems. Uh, I really don't yeah. know what's going to happen. Um, well, she's a receptionist like me, you know, so it, it seems like there's not even anyone later on doing anything. I, I don't know if she's in, in in shift two, but I feel like that it's just really sparse, you know. Why aren't 100%. they hiring lots of people? Surely people are coming in because I know there was lists of people saying I'd like to be a receptionist and they're just not getting through. I, I don't um, know what it is. I... At least for last I checked, I didn't. I didn't see anybody actually applying. Um, yeah. So I don't I think anybody's like actually interested in the job. Yeah. That's the issue. Yeah, maybe, maybe. No. I don't know. But even dispatchers, there's dispatchers that came in and they introduced themselves, and I see them for about a week, and then they don't turn up anymore. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's a problem. It's uh, yeah, never wants to steal a job. It's tricky. Yeah. Well, I would have done it. No more. No. I'm, I'm so sorry I, for I not being know. around as much. I really am. That's all right. You've got a life. You've got to live. You know what I mean? It's just that what, what I'm saying is there wasn't, there's just not enough people that do want to be. No, it's just such it's a not. depressing place to, to work in. That they, it, It's like when there's only a couple of people there bouncing about, that's the only people you've got to look up to, you know, and it's difficult. No, absolutely. It's difficult. There needs to be more people, you know, buzzing about so that you just see, you know, at least if you kind of don't connect with one of them, you'll connect with someone else. There's just not enough people. It's, it's like a little boiling pot and it just, I just feel miserable, you know, and I hate feeling like that. It's not, it's not someone that I like to look at in the mirror. Let me tell you, I'm sitting there with my black helmet on anyway. No one can see me gurning. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm going to wait and see. I mean, Leah might be trying to call me now. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to go back home for a bit. I'm going to have some beans on toast. That's and, a good idea. Uh, yeah, and a cup of tea. All right. And see what's what. Okay, then.
All right, you take it easy. All right, thank you, Richard. I, but congratulations anyway. You know what I mean. You're you're absolutely smash it. You will. All right. And I hope I can come over and be by your side, lovey. I hope so, so too. Um, I really do. Yeah. Okay then. All, all right. right. You take you're it easy. Bloke. All, all right. right. Bye bye. All. all right. Oh, mofa. Alex around. Juarez, fucking lockpick, sir. <clears throat> All right, chat. Hey, Eleanor. I will be back, uh, not tomorrow, but Sunday. I will see you guys then. Uh, Papa. I will see you guys on Sunday. Uh, I appreciate you all. Uh, and I will see you. Uh, bu -bu 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 then. I can't believe we fucking what the fuck is say about your dog? What the fuck happened, guys? What the fuck happened? It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited as I am. We're back, bitches. Now. <laughs>